Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Many tasks in the task list for your project file share a type of dependency. For example, perhaps task A must be completed before you can start task B. You can model this task dependency using task linking within Microsoft Project. There are four types of task links that you can create. Finish to start, start to start, finish to finish, or rarely start to finish. With the finish to start link, the start time of the dependent task is linked to the finish time of the predecessor task. Using the start to start link makes the start time of the dependent task the same as the start time of the predecessor task. Using the finish to finish link makes the end time of the dependent task the same as the end time of the predecessor task. Rarely used is the start to finish link type. This is because using this type of link makes the end date of the dependent task the same as the start date of the predecessor task. Most commonly used is the finish to start link. This is the type of link that is created when the user clicks the link tasks button found within the schedule button group on the task tab within the ribbon. To create a relationship between two tasks in your project file, you must first select the two tasks that you would like to link within the task list in the Gantt chart view of your project file. You can then easily create a finish to start link between them by simply clicking the link tasks button that appears within the schedule button group on the task tab in the ribbon. Also note that if you have a listing of tasks that should be sequentially linked using the FS link type, then you can click and drag over the tasks that you wish to link within the task list and then click the link tasks button. Note that you can select non-sequential tasks within your task list if needed by simply clicking on the first task to select from the list, then holding down the control key on your keyboard while you then click on the other tasks that you would like to select. Finally, release the control key. That's how you select non-adjacent tasks in a list. Also note that this is the same method of non-adjacent cell selection that's used in many other Microsoft Office applications, such as Microsoft Excel. Now note that you can also unlink selected tasks from a chain of tasks. To do this, just select the task or tasks that you wish to unlink first. Then simply click the Unlink Tasks button within the Schedule button group on the Task tab in the ribbon. Note that if you unlink one task from a sequence of tasks, Microsoft Project will redraw the linking lines between the remaining tasks in the sequence within the Gantt chart view. Now if you wish to change the type of link that's created between two tasks, you can select the dependent task within the relationship, and then click the Information button that appears in the Properties button group on the Task tab in the ribbon in order to open the Task Information dialog box. In this dialog box, click the Predecessors tab. Here you will see a listing of this task's predecessor tasks and the type of link that these two share. You can click into the Type column for the desired predecessor task shown and then select the desired type of task link to apply to the task from the drop-down list of choices. Remember to click the OK button that appears in the Task Information dialog box to save your changes after you make them. Also note that if you change the duration of a predecessor task, the start times of its dependent tasks may change as long as they have no start time constraint that has been specified. As long as you have New Tasks auto-scheduled selected for the New Task Creation mode when you are creating your tasks, this will be the case. You can also change the task mode of a task that has been entered by using the Task Mode drop-down that appears within the Tasks row to select either Manually Scheduled or Auto-Scheduled. Any time you change the duration of an auto-scheduled task, and Microsoft Project updates the dependent tasks, 
it also colors those cells a light blue color so that you'll notice the updates that have been made. This makes it easier to review changes made to the project schedule. When you click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar to save your changes, these highlights will then disappear. Now, if you have not been creating new tasks using the New Tasks Auto Scheduled Task Mode, but instead have been using the New Tasks Manually Scheduled Task Mode, you can still update dependency links between tasks. To do this, you would select the Manually Scheduled Dependent Tasks within the list to update, and then simply click the Respect Links button that appears in the Scheduling group on the Task tab within the ribbon. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.